What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Sports Talk with Broads, and here we have another Philadelphia Phillies game. They fall to the Atlanta Braves 7-3, to so they end up losing this three-game series, which is tough to see, but they fall to 10-7, and and the Braves are now 10-7, and so we're in a battle with the Braves for this second spot in the NL East. Now, before we begin, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, comment if you'd like to, because I enjoy speaking with you guys. And on the mound today for the Phillies, we have Velasquez. He throws six in. He does allow seven hits, three earned runs, a walk, and seven strikeouts on 99 pitches. I always love to see what he brings to the table because we always talk about this. The one thing with him is his depth, how long he can go into games. And six innings, reasonable job for me. I will take that any day of the week out of Velasquez. So let's kick this off here. We, we have Reese Hoskins. Playing his natural position over at first base, which is finally cool to see, right? We don't really get to see that ever since the Carlos Santana signing. So that was awesome to, to kind of get a taste and see what he brings to the table there. The Braves signed Batista. Now, it was like a double-A deal. He's not going to be called up or anything to my knowledge right now. I, I really didn't follow the story to that extent. All I know is that's a pretty big signing. He has numbers for Toronto. He's obviously fallen off a little bit, but the Braves are taking a chance, and they signed him. So let's start it off. Scott Kingery in the top of the first inning goes yard. What? Robbed. Robbed. What a tough way to start it for the Phillies. And one thing I like today, though, we didn't start from behind. We didn't allow any runs early. It wasn't the first, second inning. We were allowing the Braves to score runs. It was actually 0-0 until the top of the fifth inning. When the Phillies get a nice opportunity. Knapp gets the second. Gets a single. I'm sorry, his second of the night. He actually advances to second on a pass ball, which was beautiful. With two outs, Velasquez hits a ball up the middle, helps himself out, gets an RBI. Are you serious? He even runs the base, bases and goes to second base when the Braves tried to throw out Nap and Hope. So let's go. one nothing lead for this Phillies team. The bottom of the fifth. So right after that happened, right after the Phillies finally take a lead in this ballgame, Flaherty hits a three-run shot off Velasquez. So that, that hurt. That definitely hurt. It was a bomb. You knew it right away. You heard the pop come right off the bat, and, you know, that, that hurts. That definitely hurts. So 3-1 to one as the Braves take the lead. Top of the six, Scott Kingery with a nice walk. It double up the middle, bounces off the second baseman, and Kingley gets to third. So, first and third, one out. Reese Hoskins up to bat. Puts a nice little at-bat together. It was long, it was lengthy. Strikes out. The pitcher threw. Slider, 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 change up. Fastball, slider, slider. Got him, though. Got him. Nick Williams grounds out after that. So, no run scored with first and third, one out. It's a shame this Phillies team is struggling to, to knock in their opportunities all series long, it felt. Top of the seventh, first and third, zero outs. An error by the Braves' second baseman allowed that to happen. Carlos Santana up. Double play by Carlos Santana, but it scores a run, so he gets an RBI off that. Three to two. Phillies cut into the lead, but in the bottom of the seventh, we allow a home run by Swanson. We missed the location. At this point, we had a new pitcher in the ball game. He's looking to go down and outside, but instead it goes high and inside, and it was just absolutely crushed in the bottom of the seventh. So bottom of the eighth, here comes in. We have Milner on the mound, and he hits Freeman in the wrist, and instantly Freeman goes Right to the dugout, goes right down the steps. He knew. It hit him right on the left wrist, and he missed 10 weeks last year with the same wrist being injured. So I think instantly he knew that, like, damn, that that was a situation where he, he kind of knew. But anyway, the Braves take a 5-2 to two lead in this inning, and then a good old balk. Carlos Santana, as Milner goes to first bake to base to check on the runner. Carlos Santana kind of is off the bag. He goes up a little bit. It was a balk. 
I guess he thought Milner was going to the plate with that. That scores a run, 6-2. to two. It cuts to, to Gabe Kapler in the dugout. i like, what the hell? Let's blame that on Gabe Kapler, shall we? <laughs> I don't know how. I, I don't know how. And also, Flaherty gets a nice little knock also, 7-2. to two. That's a four RBI night for him. Kind of, kind of got a little bit out there once we hit Milner in the bullpen, honestly. So top of the ninth, Aaron Altair actually crushes a ball over the left fielder's head. Hardest hit ball I've seen out of him all year long. That actually is an RBI double, and the Phillies crack into the lead a little bit, seven to three. But that's all the damage that they can do to fall in this tilt. 7-3, to three, and they go home, and now they have a homestand, and it's a 10-game homestand in 11 nights. They play the Pirates. That's tough. They play the Diamondbacks, and they play the Braves again. So this is a tough little stretch for this Phillies team. They lose the series. They go 1-2 and two in this series in Atlanta. So, you know, 10-7, and seven, though. 10-7, and seven, it's not a bad record. You're not going to win them all. I want to see how we do against this Pirate Squad. So, with that being said, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, comment if you'd like to. I really want to hear your thoughts on this game. Thank you so much for listening. I will see you next time.